What's up everyone, it's Exile, and today we're going to talk about why video games feel like the developers have less passion and why some games are releasing unfinished. This has been a hot topic in the gaming community with many gamers feeling frustrated with the state of the industry. So let's go ahead and dive into things. One reason that I think this happens is that the video game industry has become increasingly commercialized over the years. With gaming being such a big business, it's easy to see how developers could feel pressured to make choices that prioritize their profits over creating the best game possible. To put that in perspective, one example I'd like to give is skill-based matchmaking or better known as engagement optimized matchmaking. This is a type of matchmaking system that's supposed to be designed to increase player engagement by providing a more enjoyable and challenging gameplay experience. So what this does is it uses data analysis and specific algorithms, uh, mainly just your stats in game to match you with opponents who are of similar skill level, play style, and interest level. On paper, this sounds amazing, but in actual practice, it's skewed one way. So the beginner players or the, you know, less, you know, hardcore players, the noobs, they actually do get a more enjoyable gaming experience. They don't get stomped by players that are much better than them. They're playing players that are around the same skill level. However, the same thing does not apply when you go into the higher skill bracket. What tends to happen is that after players skew away from what's considered, you know, the average skill level or play style or interest level of another player, they're actually put in a bracket that's higher than most players. So what ends up happening is that the good player ends up getting teammates that are really bad. That way that the system can actually bring their win loss ratio down and, you know, just provide them a worse experience in the cost of providing newbie players a better experience. So players that are passionate about games see right through this, see right through the developers. This is just a way for the developers to make more money by making the game more accessible by worse players. But in turn, this really turns away their loyal audience to the game. I think another reason that games are feeling rushed or unfinished is just the pressure that developers have from the publishers and the fans to release games on time. So these deadlines have been imposed by both the uh, publishers and the fans. So developers may rush to release a game before it's truly ready. And like you could imagine, this can lead to all kinds of problems like missing features, technical glitches, and just an overall lack of polish in the game. I can give you so many examples of this happening in like the past five years. Just look at any modern AAA game and you pretty much see this exact issue. And the counter argument I hear a lot of this is that, you know, games used to release on time and developers didn't have time to release patches and things like that when games are offline and that's very true I think that you know it's kind of hurt developers more in the aspect that they can update these games it's good for both the gamers and the developers but like I said you know it can create more complex games so modern games are becoming more complex with more systems mechanics and features so that can be really challenging for developers to fully realize the game's vision they have to balance all these elements and that can be daunting itself and developers may need to make difficult choices about what features they prioritize and this can result in the game feeling like it's unfocused or just lacking in direction in general and then on top of that we look at dlcs and microtransactions these can also contribute to game feeling unfinished now recently we haven't really been seeing many dlc packs a lot of games have moved over to the battle pass system but it's really not any different so while these strategies can be beneficial for the developers it can also leave players feeling like that they didn't get the full experience especially if it feels like the developers are holding out on content just to release it later as a dlc it can be very frustrating and we've actually seen this recently with Call of Duty. Back in the beta, they had a map called Valderis Museum, I believe. And when the game was released fully, the map was completely gone. And some rumors were speculated that they had gone through some legal battles and troubles. But the developers and the publisher for Modern Warfare 2 never really stated why this game wasn't there on release. But then Season 2 came along and boom, the map was released as a part of dlc so it just made everyone pissed off that the fact that this was in the alpha missing from the release of the game and then later they decide hey let's release this map because we don't have shit together it's really stupid so with all that being said those are just some of my thoughts on why video games here lately feel like that they lack passion and that they're unfinished 
You know, it's important to remember that game developers are people too, and game development is a complex process. And you know, they have different stakeholders and challenges that they always have to meet as well. Not only for the fans, it's just really complex and complicated. So it's not always possible to create a perfect game, but we as consumers, we can continue to demand better from gaming companies. And I think that it's important that we support the games that do prioritize innovation, you know, and polish. And when I come to think of it, the game that's actually standing out that, you know, this holds true for right now is Counter-Strike. The game is so old. Counter-Strike Global Offensive came out, I believe in like 2012, but Counter-Strike has been around for so many years, but Counter-Strike is not a game that they they release every year. The developers, you know, they try their best to make the game feel as balanced as possible. And Counter-Strike has had a lot of problems in the past, but with rumors of Source 2, you can see that the player count has went up tremendously. So I'm really glad to see, you know, players supporting games that prioritize polish over creating like a yearly release. And I feel like the gamers are going to start moving more towards these games and developers and publishers are going to have to change up really quickly to keep up with consumers or else they're just going to get left behind. So like I said before, at the end of the day, we as consumers, we need to continue to demand better from these gaming companies and quit cutting them so much slack for their mishaps. That's going to be it for this video. Let me know if you guys are interested in any games coming out here lately. I'm actually interested in X Defiant and the finals myself. I'm not really sure how those two games are going to play out. I'm not going to lie. They look a little generic. They look like the, you know, general generic first person shooter from a non AAA studio, but we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, it's been Exilent. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.